Hello, welcome. My name is Greg Villalobos and I've been waiting ages to make this film. I'm going to tell you all about the Adventure Spec Linesman Pant. Quite excited about making this film. The Linesman Pant has been in development for some time. Um, I've ridden quite a few different prototypes as we've tweaked it along the way um, and it is finally ready to go. It's a toned down approach to trail dual sport adventure riding. Um, it's really for people that want to blend in a little bit more, um, overland style, uh, trans Euro trail, multi-day trips, backcountry adventures where you're on the bike, off the bike, you're at camp, you're going in for a macchiato at some nice cafe in a town square somewhere and you don't really want to kind of stand out and scream adventure rally rider. A very quick story about how the Lines and Pant came to be. Um, when we were um, developing these, I'd been out riding with Sean on his um, Husqvarna. I think it's a 501. Um, and Sean was wearing the linesman jacket and he'd chosen to not, not to wear his motocross pants, um, but he'd actually chosen to wear just a pair of jeans. Um, and I was kind of riding with him and I was kind of quite impressed at how relaxed and toned down and just comfortable it looked in the environment we were riding in. Um, it didn't scream kind of I'm going faster on a motocross track or anything like that. Um, it's just a pair of jeans. What could we do with the linesman pant that um, made you feel like that but actually performed um, much much better than a pair of jeans um, if you're out riding that was going to be lighter, tougher, um, dry faster, all those kinds of things. And so that was really where the linesman pant origins were um, and steered a lot of the uh, early decisions around the designs. So myself and the rest of the event spec design team have put quite a few miles on now um, on the Trans Euro Trail and we've kind of um, experienced a lot of what that kind of travel um, uh, and adventure riding kind of uh, throws at you. Um, this idea of you spending a lot of time on the bike putting miles in, sometimes you've got to be on the road then you get onto the dirt you have loads of fun with your mates, you find somewhere to camp, you're off um, putting tents up. But also the day is punctuated by kind of traditional tourism activities, you know. You're stopping, walking around town square, having a drink, having some food. And so that experience has really, I think, influenced the, the lines from Pant. Um, and really the closest thing, other than a pair of jeans, that I can kind of say that it, it references is a, a pair of, of hiking pants, a pair of walking pants. So really, if you were in... Um, an outdoor uh, walking shop and you had all of the, the gear there. It's really, how do you take a, a pair of walking pants and start to build features into it that are more suitable for not just motorcycling, but off-road motorcycling. So when you look at those pants, you look at them and you say, okay, um, they're very light, they dry very fast, um, and quite a lot of them have got reinforced knees and bums because they know that you're going to be kneeling down um, on the ground and um, sitting on the ground. Um, what those walking pants don't have is any CE protection, so they don't have armour or abrasion resistance, and that's really what we've built into the linesman pant. So here you've got Noel. Um, this was in Spain earlier this year in summer. So Noel's wearing his linesman jacket and his uh, linesman pant. So I think we'd stopped at an old abandoned village um, and we were all taking photos and having a drink. Um, and I just chose that photo to kind of show you that even when you're off the bike, I think that that setup really kind of fits. It doesn't really scream to me kind of um, crazy big motorbike rally um much like this next photo which is Lyndon wearing the Atacama jacket and Atacama pant in the Dakar rally. So I'm not saying that the linesman jacket and pant is kind of better than the uh, Atacama jacket and pant. I guess what I'm trying to um, illustrate there is that there's different riding kit for different environments and so the linesman pant uh, and jacket was not really designed for hardcore rallies much the same way as the full-on Atacama race jacket and pant are really designed for people that are going out and riding hard and fast in a desert on a rally somewhere um, that may feel a little bit conspicuous if they're sat having a quiet coffee in a town square somewhere. And that's where the linesman pant and jacket fit. So it's all good and well saying we wanted the linesman pant to have a the same look and feel and performance of a of a, a walking pant um, in an outdoor shop. Um, what you can't do is just take that walking pant, put some armor in it, and away you go. 
We actually had to develop some pretty bespoke materials and fabrics to make this work for us as motorcyclists. Um, and kind of the core of that is what is technically called a, a Panama by stretch fabric. Um, and that is a blend of nylon, nylon six, nylon six, six, and elastane. And we did quite a lot of work experimenting with different blends of that, um, which is essentially giving you a super, super stretchy material. Um, and when you kind of hold the pant and you put it on, it's very, very surprising at how much stretch is in there. Um, but at the same time, it actually has the abrasion resistance that we need to pass our CE certification tests. So I think what I've been most surprised by about this pant is how much it doesn't feel like something that is going to stand up to um, a particularly strong kind of uh, slide down tarmac, but actually running it through the lab tests, it really does. And that's like really, really reassuring. And I think that's one of the, um, the biggest um, selling points of this pant is really how comfortable it is for something that offers that level of protection. So the Lyson pant is CEAA rated. So that is um, the CE ratings come in AAA, AA, A, B, C. Um, and each of those levels gives you a corresponding um, amount of um, protection um, should you come off uh, on, on road. And all motorcycle clothing um, in Europe um, that is sold as motorcycle clothing for the road needs to be CE certified to help you, the consumer, make informed decisions and choices around how much protection you're happy to um, to wear when you're on the bike. So we're really proud that the Lions and Pant achieved double A rating, which is exactly what we were aiming for. Um, I think we've probably uh, got the balance right between protection and comfort. And so when you hold the pant and you um, you weigh it in your hands and you stretch it, it's really reassuring to know that it's gone through the CE certification process and has actually been accredited the AA rating. So I've included this clip. It was earlier on in Spain while we were riding um, up in the mountains. And um, this is Noel who never falls off, um, but was actually caught on camera falling off uh, in a very rare incident going down. Not at a particularly great speed, but I just kind of put this in to kind of really flag up that as adventure riders, we all know that the it's the silliest little off that you don't really expect that catches you out, um, much as it did with Noel. And he got up, was absolutely fine. Um, the lines and pant um, has very high abrasion resistance in materials, and it also includes force field um, armor, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. Are you okay? Oh! Oh! If only that I'd been on camera. So the Lines and Pan is constructed entirely out of this um, Panama by stretch material. Um, that's really kind of 95% of the pan um, is, is made of this. It has um, extra panels in the knees and hips um, and seat, your bum area. Um, and on the outside of the knee, we've added extra Kevlar um, panels. So these are the same Kevlar panels that you find in the single track jacket. Um, what's quite special about these ones is that they are lined, so they're waterproof. Um, so what this does is it creates a waterproof membrane between the outside of your knee and the inside of your knee, if that makes sense, the inside of the pant where your knee is. So really we put this on there partly down to styling, partly down to extra abrasion resistance and toughness, but also we know, uh, I know, because I'm out taking photos all the time and kneeling down, but we know as adventure riders just spend quite a bit of time um, on our knees. Uh, fixing the bike, making cups of coffee on the trail side, putting tents up, all that kind of stuff. Um, and those Kevlar um, waterproof line Kevlar panels um, create this waterproof um, barrier between the wet dirt and your knee. So inside the pant, um, we have included force field level two armor in the knees and hips. Um, this is very light armor for the amount of protection that it gives you. And they're situated in pockets in the hip and knee area. Um, they are removable. Um, so if you choose to wear your own armor underneath, for example, you can remove um, that force field armor. So quite a unique feature to this pant um, is something that we spent quite a lot of time developing. Um, it's what I'm calling a floating knee pocket. Really the purpose of that is um, in traditional uh, motorcycle jeans, you quite often have uh, you, you, a knee pocket that is attached at the top and the bottom of the pant, and you stick your knee armor in and away you go. Um, but what we know as adventure riders is that we wear quite tall adventure boots. So if you're out um, 
doing street road riding, you're probably going to have something like a, an ankle boot, really. Um, but as adventure riders, we have tall boots, which come all the way up our shins, or it's in some cases almost up to the knee. Um, and that poses a bit of a challenge if you're wearing knee armor, because does the knee armor sit on the outside of the top of your boot, or does it tuck into your boot? And if it tucks into the boot, then the whole pant tucks in. So it's a bit of a uh, design challenge, really. And so what we did is we um, separated the bottom of the knee pocket internally from the pant. And what this allows you to do is actually tuck the knee armor inside the top of your adventure riding boot, and then the actual pant slips over the top. Um, the knee armor is not going anywhere. It's exactly where it needs to be against your body. It's not moving around. It's, a, it's where it's designed to be on your shin, on your leg and over your knee. Um, and what it means is it's just an incredibly comfortable fit. You don't have to choose one or the other way of wearing it. The Lancer pant is an over the boot cut, um, kind of true to the kind of design principles of it, um, of a more relaxed, toned down, is that actually a motorcycle pant style? And over the boot cut was always going to be the way forwards for us. So they're really designed with adventure boots um, uh, in mind. So, for example, I wear um, City Adventure 2s, which have got buckles on the bottom, but not the top of the boot. Um, I think um, Chris here is wearing another um, City boot that is not too chunky. Uh, if you're wearing huge, great big motocross boots, then the lines and pant will fit over them, but I think that it looks a little odd. Um, and I'll get into that in a, a little bit more detail in one minute. Um, but the way that it fits over traditional kind of adventure boots is um, we have a great big long zip up the back of the calf. That allows you to roll the pant up while you get your foot into your boot. Once your boot's on, you zip it down. And at the bottom, we have a small Velcro flap um, that protects the zip and a buckle that goes over that and allows you to pull the bottom of the um, trouser tight around the bottom of your boots and the result of that is a very secure fastening um, that doesn't have any flap or anything like that it's really neat um, and also because it's a zip closure and not a velcro closure it's not going to be affected by mud essentially you've got the zip as your core closing um, function and the buckle as an extra over the top so I've included this photo of Noel. Um, I think we were in a cafe in Wales a couple of years ago. Um, he's obviously drying his boots out and walking around barefoot. I really just included it just to show how much of a regular fit um, those pants are and that you can wear them with uh, a regular pair of shoes if you really wanted to. Okay, does the linesman pant fit over uh, knee braces? So the linesman pant comes with its own knee armor included um, and that's the way I wear it. Um, many of us do ride with knee braces, such as the kind of the big chunky pod style knee braces. And here's a photo of uh, Rupert uh, wearing um, his big knee braces. Uh, when we first did the prototypes, I wasn't sure how these would fit because they, they're not um, they're not built to have a, a baggy knee, such as the Mongolia pant. Um, however, because the Panama by stretch material is so stretchy we have found that even wearing big knee braces like this, the pant does fit over and it fits over comfortably. Um, and this is Rupert wearing the pant over his knee braces. Um, hang on, he's got his pants tucked into his boots. I'll get onto that. Okay, so I mentioned that these are an over the boot cut um, and why. Um, what if you do have big chunky motocross style boots and you want an in the boot um, cut? And I think I have seen a few questions come through about that already from just the social stuff that we've shared. Um, so just to reiterate, these are styled and manufactured and sold as an over the boot cut. There is a hack <laughs> that I will let you in on. So as you can see here, we have someone wearing um, on a very nice BMW, um, the linesman pant inside his um, uh, motocross boots. We also have here Rupert who is showing the same thing. He's got his linesman pant inside his motocross boots. And the way they've done that is they've actually removed the buckle and simply tucked the pant in. One of those buckles will just unloop and the other one needs to be cut out. But if you really want to wear these in your boot, it can be done. So one of the challenges that um, adventure riders have and particularly shorter adventure riders is that our bikes are quite tall and in order to get on our bikes, especially if our bikes are loaded with luggage um, on the, the top and the back of the bike, 
is that you have to really swing your leg over or step through. And quite often with adventure pants that haven't been built with that in mind, um, it's kind of the crotch area is really tight um, and it restricts the uh, amount you can lift your leg to, 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 to step through the bike. Um, so with our fabric being so stretchy, I've included these photos here to demonstrate that. So this is Chris and Chris actually got a bad leg. <laughs> but I was like, said to Chris, look, how high can you lift your leg to get over that CRF um, without it kind of being restricted? And, you know, Chris has got a fair bit of clearance there as he's stepping through. Um, we've also got, I think I just included this photo of me because it makes me look like I know what I'm doing on a bike. <laughs> but again, just to demonstrate, there's quite a lot of stretch there and you really don't feel any restriction at all when you're kind of wearing the linesman pant and you've kind of got full movement of your legs and stretching them apart. Um, this is Null in Spain uh, stepping through his bike. I think it's a really good demonstration of kind of how you get on and off or can get on and off adventure bikes um, and that there's no restriction there. Um, and then just to top it off, this is Chris in the studio here doing a karate kick to see how high he can get his leg. I think I've made the point. Um, they're very stretchy and they don't restrict your crotch in any way. So we've got an integrated belt, um, which is common in all adventure spec uh, riding pants. Um, funny story maybe about <laughs> why the belt's there. I was talking to Dave about this um, a little while ago and really the integrated belt is there for um, long distance riders who are maybe doing a multi, not just multi day, but a multi month or on you know the road for a year. And you lose quite a bit of weight when you're out riding because you've got limited avail availability to kind of good food and calories. So the belt is there so you can cinch it tight as you're losing weight on your travels. Me personally, um, I haven't done that kind of trip for quite a long time. Um, most of my trips have been on the trans Euro Trail doing uh, a week or two weeks away. Um, and really the belt has been handy for when I've had to do the opposite and let it out a little bit um, after some long extended lunches. But yeah, we have an integrated belt and it is handy. The Lines and Pant is very fast drying. I've experienced that myself, um, both riding through light rain showers um, and riding through kind of fords and, and puddles and river crossings. It's not fully waterproof, so if you are riding through prolonged wet weather and rain, you will want to put a waterproof overpant over the top. The majority of my riding with the Lines and Pant has been in good weather um, so far in the summer. Um, it's very breathable. Um, there are no extra vents or anything such as we have on the Mongolia Pant. Um, it's quite a simple pant and you kind of, it's as you see it, um, but it does breathe very, very well. Um, in the colder weather, when I've taken this out in winter, I've put on a pair of Adventure Spec Core Long Leg underneath um, to give me that extra warmth. It's also quite handy if I'm doing quite a lot of miles down a motorway or something like that. I'll probably wear the uh, core long, long leg underneath for the long motorway stretches. So the lines plant fits um, within the adventure spec range um, and our philosophy of layering. So uh, there's only so much layering you can do on your leg. You can put a, um, a base layer underneath and you put a waterproof layer over the top. But just to show how it works with the rest of the range here, we've got uh, Chris in the studio here wearing it with the um, super shirt. Um, you could go out and ride in that so that is essentially giving you a ce double a rated protection on the top and the bottoms chris here has got the linesman jacket over the top which is what we specifically designed the linesman pant to work with here we've got the trailhead jersey which is a setup that some of the guys wore um, in spain when it was particularly hot um, underneath the trailhead there chris has got the super shirt and here we've got the single track jacket this is kind of my setup that i would wear in um, uh, autumn slash winter here in the uk and just to show how the layering works, we've got here um, Chris putting on the soup shirt and then the trailhead jersey. Um, he's got the soup shirt and he's put on the Baltic uh, insulated. So again, just to, I know this film's about the linesman pant, but uh, what I want to flag up there is what the soup shirt allows you to do is because you've got all your protection next to your skin, you've got your double A protection on your top and your bottoms there, you can actually put on that insulated jacket and go off and ride with your double A protection. Um, you don't wouldn't necessarily need something over the top of that insulated jacket. Um, but if you did want to, here's Chris with the single track jacket over the top. Um, and yeah, that's him 
with the lines and pant on the bottom and single track jacket over the top uh, with his alpine gloves on so that's it, the Linesman Pant. I'm very excited that they're finally available. I hope you enjoy them as much as I've enjoyed them. Um, they really are my go-to pant for the majority of the riding that I do. I hope I've given you all the information you're looking for. If I haven't, uh, drop a message in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you or someone in the team will. Um, if you like what you've seen, subscribe. Uh, if you want me in bite-sized um, portions every week subscribe to our email newsletter um, I put a little, quite a lot of effort into that it's something I'm really proud of um, this last couple of weeks we've used the email newsletter to launch uh, quite a big sale and that's only gone out to newsletter subscribers um, so yeah head over to our website and subscribe there thank you for your time I know it's precious thank you for watching all the way to the end um, I will see you soon happy riding Thank you.